Hey guys, first step you want to do is finely chop three onions and bring it to the stove. I prepare the bench, a nice clean bench, by pouring flour on top and spreading it out. This will help with kneading and rolling the dough. I use again more flour on my fingertips to help stretch the dough before I begin. And then I place it on the floured board and I roll out, turning it halfway as I go along, giving me a nice thin surface to work with. Okay guys, now we've got the onion stock happening. It's nice and rich in colour. It's thin at the moment, but as it cooks and develops, the flavour will intense and the thickness will be beautiful as we'd like it. So now we're going to let it cook and simmer and we'll come back to it. the onions we can mash them as much as we can they've been softened now with all the boiling and they're easy to push out Okay, now we've strained the onion stock. It's nice and clear, no onion bits showing. We put it back on the stove as we bring our pasta, our rishta, and slowly add it in. We do it slowly so it doesn't form one big clump. And we bring it to the boil and as you can see, it'll continue cooking and won't be long, we'll have our food ready.
طبق الغطاء في الطنجرة راح يبسطنا Okay, just rinse your beans, your favorite beans. Normally I'd use barlotti, but I just happen to have kidney beans in the cupboard. So a tin of kidney beans, rinse, drain and put it in. But of course you can use brown or green lentils, you can use cannellini beans, you can do different beans.